Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a Pisces reading for those watching, those who are interested in hanging out a little bit and just seeing what spirit has to say through the cards. This might be a short one, we'll see. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, as always, same speech, you know how that goes. <laughs> Alrighty. Ace of Pentacles, first card showing up here. So this is a moment, Pisces, in which you're going to be having new brand, um, new, brand new beginnings, right? New chapters, an idea, something that is very successful, something that is going to be incredibly prosperous for you something that has tons of potential is already in your hands and maybe it hasn't fully you know developed maybe it hasn't fully tapped into whatever maybe it's fine but it's already on your side so it's an idea it's a way of doing things is a career choice is a company it's a project i don't know but it's already on your side and it's going to be very 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 prosperous pisces you probably already know what this is. You got the High Priestess in the challenge position here. Some of you are very well aware on an intuitive level how this is going to be successful. However, you may find that at the moment of putting the actions, you know, putting one foot after the other in the physical realm, that's when maybe you get a little lost or maybe the actions don't really translate into enough for this you know, new thing to really take over. Some of you are so connected to your intuition, so connected to the divine, that you almost disconnected from the physical. And Spirit is saying here that if you want the success to manifest in the physical realm in the form of money, recognition, um, material, you know, comforts and things like that, then the actions and the seeds need to be planted in the physical as well. So maybe some of you are just a little bit, you know, detached of reality and you need to, you know, plant your feet firm and do what you have to do, pretty much. Three of Cups in the recent past, Pisces. Some of you have been social, connecting to friends, reconnecting to people from the past, getting to know new people, um, going to events, you know, you've been, you know, kind of open to that. Some of you, if that's not the case, you may have been in dynamics that involve three people, and that can go from three friends who, you know, are just inseparable, to maybe, you know, third party situations or people who are not entirely welcome within two people dynamics. Some of you could have been uh, caught in a little bit of drama there. In your mind, you have the Emperor. Beautiful energy. You may feel very powerful at this time. Your brain, your mind, the way that you see the world, your thoughts are definitely empowered so you see the potential in everything that you do everything that you can do you see how you are the emperor of your reality you see how you are designing the life that you want to live and you're actively creating that world through your thoughts in the near future we got here the star card showing up so very consistent with other readings that we have been um, having here. Wishes fulfilled in the near future. Your prayers being heard and answered. You feeling very excited and thrilled and grateful because your wishes are coming through. They really are in the near future for you. Spirit wants to tell you though that if you are experiencing a lot of anxiety at this time, paralyzing anxiety, worries, fears, an overall sense of stress, even if you feel like it is not necessarily a reflection of anything going on, 
Spirit is telling you here that this is the source of any blockage here, okay? So if something is not flowing in your life, it's probably because of anxiety. It, it may not be as obvious. Like it's not, if you think about it and if you go deep within what is blocked right now, if you go deep within, you realize that there are certain things that you're afraid of or intimidated about or stressed about. And you may realize that there are certain behaviors that are fueling, are being fueled, sorry, by anxiety that are ultimately affecting your physical body and ultimately creating a block. So if some of you are feeling scattered, stuck, blocked, um, it could have a lot to do with anxiety. So how to fix this? Go to the root. What is stressing you out right now? What is making you feel afraid? Is there something that makes you nervous? Is there something that you are in denial about, perhaps? Something you want to avoid at all costs. We got here the Nine of Wands representing you at this time, Pisces. So I get that many of you have been in this road that has been difficult at times. And I feel like, you know, in the other readings we have done recently, we've seen how much of a chapter we are shifting into. A new phase, a new world, a new level, whatever you want to call it. And I get that some of you could be feeling very anxious about this transition, this change. I feel like life has been difficult for many of you. But you have gotten used to a world that you know how to navigate. Even if it's a difficult world to navigate, it is known and therefore familiar to a certain extent. And as you are moving forward into a space that is better for you, a space in which your wishes are coming true, as you're walking towards that new space, and you're feeling perhaps scared of the unknown, perhaps fearful of change. And you know it's good change, you know things are getting better, but in a way it's just change and there may be a part of you that's like, oh my god, I just kind of like got the hang of life right now. So now you're going to tell me that everything changes again? So some of you may be resisting change. That could be something that is um, blocking you a little bit. Holding on to a comfort zone of some kind. In your environment, we got here the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. There could be energy around that is inviting you to go slow to analyze things, to meditate, to sit down with yourself and not go crazy. <laughs> Energies around you could be reminding you time and time again that, you know, there's no point in being the fastest if where you're headed is not a clear goal. Like, why would you want to get somewhere super quickly if you don't know when you get there if that is a place you want to be at all? So instead of trying to go really fast, instead, sit down and analyze where is it that you actually want to go? Where do you want to be? What is it that you really want? And what makes you afraid of being in that space? Something here seems to be making you feel afraid. Some of you could be mm, having or drinking too much caffeine. Or, you know, whatever it is that makes you feel anxious, that fuels your anxiety, could be present here. Um, and could be needing to be balanced. Five of Wands, Hopes and Fears. I almost got this feeling that many of you have been in this cycle of always been busy, busy, busy. 
always having something to do, always having someone to think about, something to stress about, something to achieve. And I think that you have been, some of you, take it if it resonates, dreaming about a time in which maybe life doesn't have to be that way. Now you're getting closer to this reality in which maybe you can relax, in which maybe you can put your feet up and just take your time. Maybe you're not going to have as many worries. Maybe you're not going to have to stress. Maybe you're not going to have your days packed with activities from sunrise to sunset. And I get a feeling that some of you don't know how to be happy if there's none of this like stimulation and distractions around you. And I get this feeling that some of you are coming into a space of silence and ease that you're not used to. And a part of some of you is afraid to get there because you may realize that it wasn't all of the chaos that was bringing you down. Maybe it wasn't the stress and the distractions. Maybe now you're going to realize that you just don't feel good and you don't know how or why. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting. I hope that I'm being able to translate what I'm getting properly. It's like some of you are terrified that you are going to have all the money that you need. You're terrified because now instead of fighting for that money, you're going to have to sit there and understand why there's a part of you who, that is unhappy or unfulfilled. Some of you, when you're alone, when you're not doing anything, some of you really get connected to this very lost, frustrating, hopeless energy. And maybe in order to avoid being in that, you know, awareness of that energy, maybe you always keep yourself busy. Maybe you always create a way to be distracted. Maybe you always create a new uh, problem. <laughs> You always create a new issue, a new conversation, a new thing, something to keep your attention. And what I'm getting now is that none of that is going to be needed. You're going to be able to put all of it down. And that's when you're going to realize that there is some introspection that needs to happen. got here the Knight of Cups. What I'm getting with this Knight of Cups is that spirit actually wants this to be a beautiful process and it does not have to be something negative. You're getting everything that you have asked for, Pisces. Maybe you can't see it right now, but you are. In the near future, you're going to get all of the things that you have been craving for so long. And spirit just wants you to be aware that happiness comes from within and that if there is something bothering you no matter how many fires you can put out or no matter how many successes you have if there is something bothering you that you're not addressing it's going to continue to be there until it is addressed so there's this almost call for honesty with yourself to really sit down and express what you're afraid of to yourself. Because everything in the environment, everything in your life is falling into place. And you're not going to have to make any efforts for that to be the case. But then there seems to be this emotional dissatisfaction here somewhere. And that is what you need to focus on right now. That's what I'm getting. That's what needs to be kind of like zoomed in and explored. All right, Pisces. So yeah, interesting reading. In the description box below, you're going to find everything that I'm currently offering for you. Programs, classes, online courses, all sorts of gifts too, to make your life easier and better. So everything is going to be in the description box below. You can check it out. 
and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.